Good night, YouTubers, and thank you for tuning in to today's very different video on YouTube. Why is the UK feeling so much more colder than usual? And that's why I've got my jumper on, and other people wearing sweaters and jumpers and coats and blazers and other stuff like that to keep ourselves wrapped up warm. Hey, I might as well grab some winter clothes. How funny would that be, eh? Honestly, the UK isn't really like the only country to experience just so weird and freezing cold weather conditions like this. And I mean, it's been very absurd to see me wearing winter clothes like this. It feels like I'm going to give Princess Elsa or Santa Claus the orgasm because they're straightforward bringing all of this cold air and giving the UK a bunch of chills. It's just so hilarious and just this wonderful time of the year, eh? Who knows, can we celebrate Christmas? I don't know. It feels like we're going to celebrate Christmas in June or July. Maybe Santa Claus might have some sort of weird party around here. I don't know. Um, anyways, let's not go a bit too overratedly um, obscene, okay? Because things shouldn't go too far. And you know one catchphrase I used to shout out when summer wasn't really, really feeling like summer and freezing cold? And it's this. Oh, that's just great. I released all that hot air and it's gone with nowhere to go. Give me a flippin' break! So yes, in the meteorological reports via the BBC weather website, of course, we've seen lots and lots of reports of the UK straightforward being turning cold. Oh, I might take a look at this in another video. That's very bad seeing Singapore turning their beaches black from an oil spill. That's nasty and gnarly, isn't it? Oh no, we hate to see birds being wet. But in this video, we're going to be looking at why the UK has been so cold. And we're going to be feeling more like Junary. January. <laughs> Good pun, eh? So yes, um, freezing, freezing cold, and apparently we have a lot of air that has been moving down from the Arctic and the jet stream facing south, and that what has been the main cause for such confusion and delay with such a seasonal lag like this. And yes, we've got high pressure facing into the west, but we're seeing constant areas of low pressure facing towards the UK, dumping all of this cold air all the way from Iceland and Greenland and Norway and Sweden and Finland and also Denmark and other parts of the Arctic, dumping all that cold air into the UK. How crazy is that? It feels like Princess Elsa has given the UK a bunch of chills. Maybe it's best, it's time for me to let it go. Maybe it's best to let it blow, hey, by just Flicking over this timesheet over the many days to come, Tuesday, we'll see how much warm weather we're going to be having from like tomorrow. The high pressure is settling in, it's facing in the west, and it's trying to bring in this Azores high flow all the way from the Azores area, like, you know, the Canary Islands. Or is it, I can't really remember what the Canary Islands, is that Madeira? I don't know, because I'm not really got into my geographic uh, thesis. Okay, so the warm temperatures are starting to settle in at around tomorrow, but not as warm as you may think of. We've still got this plunge of cold Arctic air coming in all the way from Scandinavia, Greenland and Iceland and Finland and Canada, whatever the fifth and hell you're going to be looking at, all your different places, Siberia and Scandinavia and Canada and your frippin' Arctic area where your bloody polar bears live. Who knows, the polar bears having cocaine? How weird is that, eh? And we're going to be steering up towards... Tomorrow, that high pressure is setting in. It's working its way in from the west now, according to the east, and we're bringing in some warm easterly winds. Maybe I might be totally wrong, but that high pressure is trying to build itself up, and it has won. But then we've got another band of low pressure that has decided to push the boundaries, and guess what? Crash the party and break all of our hopes for summer. But hope is never lost because, hey, um, actually, it's still there. Sorry about that. Um, Saturday, uh, looking like a totally different story, uh, but look forward to next week. Look at this. Dun, dun, dun. The temperatures just have started to creep up. How cool is that? Yes, 24 or 25 degrees Celsius next week. We haven't had a decent amount of hot weather or warm weather over the last, guess what? How many days has it been? 17 or 18 days. What a complete shock to the whole seasonal system. How totally strange is that? I'm totally seeing it different and that's what this video is all about.
But hey, no stop, press, stop, press, stop, press. Uh, apart from the fact it's freezing cold, we have no sunshine that's blocking in our way. But apparently, if we do get some sunshine, it would feel ah just nice and warm. That's because we are approaching up towards the summer solstice, and then after the summer solstice, everything is gonna get completely and utterly short with the days and stuff. And despite the days getting short, the days are gonna crank up the temperatures. Feeling that phenomenon, hey? Bit of a seasonal lag when you think about it because it's very similar to how when winter gets longer, well, guess what? Um, I don't know what to really say, hey, when the days get long, the temperatures become colder. But when the summer days get shorter, the temperatures start to crank up the heat. You know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. There's this very interesting phenomenon called the seasonal lag, and hey, I'm not joking. Am I correct on saying this? There's always a phenomenon where everything starts to turn colder and everything starts to turn warmer, but hey, maybe I feel like I need to work on a new animation project since I've already done one somehow, because it's been fairly cold, to possibly say the least. And there you go, some fantastic uh, weather spells like this. Completely and utterly cold, just disgusting when you see why we have 17 or 16 degrees Celsius. I mean, give me a flipping break! Just ridiculous! Why isn't it summertime when you have a wintry feeling right like so? Maybe it's best to look at the weather forecast. Okay, let's play. Hello there, good afternoon. Still some more heavy thundery downpours to come in the forecast, but lots of dry weather around again today. It's just cloudier in the south than we saw yesterday. High cloud here in Weymouth, but the cloud is thicker in Kent and East Sussex this afternoon. We've also seen some outbreaks of patchy rain here. That's because this weather front could all be pulling away as we head through the rest of the day. Watch out for those heavy thundery downpours. Oh, better watch out stretch, for some heavy showers. Line from, say, northwest England down through the East Midlands into East Anglia. There could be a lot of rainfall within a short space of time here. Brighter spells in between, but the best of the sunshine today out towards the west. Western Scotland, Northern Ireland, down through Western Wales and South West England. Temperatures responding to that sunshine, but not as warm as it was yesterday. Oh, bloody hell. Across She's right. Scotland. And the pollen levels too, where we see the best of those sunny skies, will be high or very high to freeze out. Oh my God, that's hectic. Through this evening and overnight, then the showers will gradually fade away to leave us with a largely dry night. Some long clear spells and temperatures towards the south will be in double figures, but further north, oh my some God, of the of Scotland perhaps we could see loads of around. That's here. freezing. Bloody hell! Chilly start to the day. Oh my god! On Wednesday, a lot of dry weather around ridge of high pressure gives us a mostly dry and fine day, but a weather front will throw more cloud and some outbreaks of patchy rain into parts of western Scotland where it's still rather chilly, but temperatures responding to the sunshine back up into the high teens, the low 20s in Celsius, and we start to see some milder nights towards the end of the week. We'll also feel a bit warmer across northern Scotland too, but our weather front continues to track further southwards and eastwards as we head through Thursday, spilling more cloud into Scotland, Northern Ireland. A few showery outbreaks of rain, best of the sunshine on Thursday, probably oh, sorry. across some Just many eastern areas of PC. England and Wales, but these showers need watching if they start to creep into southeast England. But temperatures here, where we keep the dry weather, 22 or 23 degrees Celsius. Oh, yes. And then we look out towards the Atlantic to see this weather front just edging from the west. That's going to give some rain to western areas perhaps on Friday morning. That band of rain will sweep slowly eastwards. But plenty of dry weather too, particularly towards the end of the week, into the weekend, and it will be feeling warmer. Well, how warm would it be? Not as hot as we thought it would be because guess what? The soup sales have been up and sun cream has been pretty much done throughout the rest of wet June. How crazy is that? And there you go. It just goes to show you on how cold this summer has been. There's been a lot more soup. That's why I've been eating a lot more noodle soup, haven't it? As, I don't know what I'm really saying, eh? But it's just flipping ridiculous. How ridiculous is that, eh? With one of the wet wettest out of all of the springs and also the wettest summers. How crazy is that? With lots and lots of um, wetness. It's just completely and utterly crazy. Um, yes, uh, apparently... If you remember back then, uh, on the very early stages of summer of 2024, well, guess what? There's been a lot of snow. Um, I think at the very start of June, we had a lot of snow back then. 
And maybe I need to try and get into some very good, very nice looking Widow flashbacks and see what I can really archive into. It's a bit of a curious update to see how freezing cold uh, the temperatures have been. Look at this. 7 to 5 degrees Celsius around midnight. Now that is ridiculous. That's something much more like temperatures that you feel in January. It is just freezing, freezing cold. Or even December now. Santa Claus and his reindeer are absolutely flipping... Um, who knows, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is just jumping up for joy, who knows, by the looks of it, I think, why am I doing a Christmas reference? Because it seems like that the UK has seen far better days in terms of temperature. And then you go into the temperatures, just cool, and not much you can really write home to mum about. It's just flipping ridiculous. And I don't know if I really have to swear an F-bomb all the time, so if I have to or not. Thank goodness I don't have to really say that because, hey, this is YouTube that we're talking about. Our YouTube is very G-rated. We don't allow that. But, hey, um, I can't really recall. Yeah, we already had a hot June yesterday, but feeling today's June, it's a bummer. Looking at how absolutely freezing cold this June has been quite curious. Yes, I've been very worried about extreme weather and such. It's just flipping ridiculous. And... I don't know how much I could really say about the UK weather, but it's been very, very bad to see why the hell. Um, there's been a lot of thunderstorm warnings, and that's why we have seen so many temperatures that can just go down to at least around 5 degrees Celsius, uh, to possibly say the least. I think the very biggest clue is that if I type into the Met Office website, and um, or maybe to the YouTube channel, and see how it's like, well then, maybe it's best if I come along and see why the hell this country has been far much colder than what it normally has. I'm very curious why. And those are the people behind it. I've got no commercial connections to the BBC weather and also the commercial connections between... Yeah, I don't think there will be a heat wave uh, this June. Uh, probably because, you know... Yeah, it won't be like as hot as I think, 30 degrees Celsius, and I mean, just look at this. Look at that, it takes nothing to get such very cold, and look at this, mountain snow, and there you go. Very big proof that this is climate change or global warming, and I can definitely see why the hell has it been so, so cold of late. And you can see why it's been very unusually cold to have um, some very unusual snow experiences. Very unusual to have snow during June, and um, I'm not making this as a bit of a joke, you know, the UK, you know, it occasionally gets snow, extremely, because, you know, if you look at the UK here, I mean, look at this map here, look at the map, where do you think the UK is, where do I pinpoint where it actually is, um, right over between um, France in the south, or like the Mediterranean in the south, and the Arctic in the north. You can see there's a very huge geographical difference between those areas. Now, looking at this weather forecast, back then, to archive what happened later in the month, or earlier back then, as I should just say, well, guess what? There was vast swaths of rain and snow hitting across the UK. There was lots and lots of thunderstorms, of course, lots of hail and snow hitting across, you know, parts of Scotland here. And also the rest of England and Wales. But we only got rain because, hey, we were a tad warmer than flipping Scotland. Oh, Scotland forever if you want to try and get some snow, eh? Uh, this is very weird. The temperature anomalies are just crazy. And, I mean, it's very strange. It feels like we're in the Australian side of winter. How funny is that? Although we're stuck in summer because it's the growing season. And our trees are straightforward, filled with lots of very fresh, thick green leaves. And going by the temperatures, it's just so very abnormal. And looking at how crazy uh, the amount of cold temperatures that we're getting, it's just very unusual. How unusual is that? Very. Okay, let's take a look at the, um, the temperatures, minimum temperatures. Uh, in June, it was minus 5.6 degrees Celsius. That was in Santon Downham in uh, in Norfolk on June the 1st, 1962, which, strangely enough, is what I'll call early June. And then if we scroll down, uh, strangely enough, into Scotland, 
Look how cold Scotland is. It's about minus two degrees Celsius at Loch Navar uh, Forest in Fernan. Fernan? Uh, Fernan? Is that how you pronounce his name? I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure if I can understand Gaelic words. Um, looking at those temperatures, it's a genuine contrast. It is just a complete sideshow. No, wait, that's Northern Ireland. Sorry, that's the wrong place. Why am I getting those wrong? That's Northern Ireland. Oh, god damn it. Oh, I need to restart the whole video, but we can't. Um, okay, here's Scotland. This is Scotland here. The first one, I thought it was Scotland, but that's actually Northern Ireland. What a dunce of me, hey? Okay, Scotland. Lowest temperature was 5, no wait, minus 5.6 degrees Celsius in Darwinny, Highland. How freezing cold is that? Look at that, minus 5.6 degrees Celsius. That's like the coldest June temperature that we've got. Just absolutely crazy. Just to see such a shockingly, bone-shakingly cold temperature that we've got at this time of year. It is just unusual. Just flipping cold. Minus 5.6 degrees Celsius. It is just unusual. And minus 5 is, strangely enough, the coldest it can get to. Just absolutely unusual. And look at this, minus 5.6 degrees Celsius, just flipping cold. I don't know, but maybe I need to try and go ahead and, you know, try and uh, talk about, I don't know what to really say, hey? but I'm going to straightforward talk about the, um, oh no, of how cold it is. Maybe I need to make a separate video uh, about it, and funnily enough, it feels more like January than June. And that really does seem to cause a lot of confusion and delay with many gardeners of late because, hey, I've started planning, but hey, maybe it's time for me to give my gardening activity a bit of a rest until maybe next week. Or maybe when the summer solstice is over. But I don't know what I'm really saying, eh? But yeah, it's just going to be really sad to see how, you know, it's just so sad how summer has left a total leeway into this complete confusion of delay of air masses trying to uh, trespass. Uh, it's the cumulative force of the uh, the cold winds diving in from the Arctic. And this is no joke. I mean, just seeing those cold temperatures really rattle my brain, as sad as it sounds. And seeing that does seem to cause a lot of confusion. And looking at this, it's just a complete anomalic uh, shock to the whole system. Uh, no snow, because we've just gone past through early June. And there is a bit of snow in Scandinavia. If you look carefully at that white speck, okay, where the cursor is, see that teeny tiny white speck in Scandinavia? That's snow. And that's because it's up in the mountains. How freaking ridiculous is that? Anyways. I better leave this video here before I cause so much kerfuffle with the weather forecasters stating of how summer has been a complete downfall this year. But hey, summer is not over because hey, next week it should be a tad warmer. So that being said, as always, please give this video a like, subscribe for more for that videos in the future. And as always, thanks so much for watching and bye for now.